Down at the southern corner of France lives the French Riviera, the sparkling Mediterranean coast of the country. People from all over the world come to visit the cities of Nice, Cannes, or Saint-Tropez, and today we're here to talk about the city of Menton. With a perfect mix of French and Italian culture and narrow streets adorned with lemon products of all kinds, it's no wonder why Menton is said to be the pearl of the French Riviera. At first glance, Menton is one of the prettiest coastal cities we've ever seen. You just can't help but look up at the tall historic buildings and the magnificent mountains that just casually surround the place. Let's just get right into the video. It is currently 7 in the morning and we have come to the legendary viewpoint that overlooks Menton. And this is, I think, the reason why so many people love this place and why we fell in love with it when we first came here. Essentially, you have all these beautiful historic buildings that are painted every shade of warm color you can imagine. But the most striking part is that they all have fallow green shutters, so it makes it look very cohesive. And of course, these buildings are sitting right on the coastline in front of a beautiful beach that definitely gets very crowded during the day. Right now, it's not as crowded. They're just all these cute little elderly folk getting their morning swim in but hold on that's not it behind me we literally have these huge mountains that are glowing in the sunlight and there's this really beautiful bridge that kind of connects all these different roads this place looks like it's straight out of a movie because no matter what direction you look in you've got something new to look at and another little fact behind Claire is literally Italy all right let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of the shelter I guess yeah we've been sitting on these rocks like trying to hide from the Sun because even at 7 a.m. in the morning it is so hot here and what's different from Provence is that there's humidity here like high humidity so lots of sweat <laughs> and the Sun bounces off the water which I think is why the city is so bright but it's just a lot of sunlight So as we set up breakfast, I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate the shade cast by the lifeguard tower. I saw the shade and I'm like, hurry before anyone else takes it. We got the best spot on the beach. We had picked up a little something special for our petit déjeuner this morning and we've been looking for this for the longest time. We finally found it at the grocery store and this is tapenade. It is a summer classic that is often enjoyed on bread and it was created over in Marseille back in 1880. And what it is, it is basically a nice provincial spread made from either green olives or black olives. This one's made out of green olives and it also has anchovies, olive oil and garlic in there. So very flavorful. I have my bread and I have my tapenade. It's time to give it a try. Ooh, it smells very olivey. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Tapenade. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice spread. Mm -hmm. It really does just taste like olives mm -hmm. in spread form. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of olives, so. Yeah. Wow, this is good. So it is very obvious that Menton is known for lemons because everywhere you look, there's gonna be a lemon. <laughs> yeah, literally everywhere. And all of this love for lemons actually came from hotel owners. They wanted to stir up some tourism here. So they came up with this festival um, in the early 1900s called the Lemon Festival, mm -hmm. where they would make these really beautiful um, sculptures out of lemons and other citrus fruits. Yeah. Um, and that's been going on for what? Almost 100 years. Yeah, and their like floats are very impressive. Yeah. I wish we were here to see it, but um, 
home, of course, we still get to enjoy the lemon in another way. I yeah. think we're gonna try to do a mini lemon food tour and try different like lemon desserts, lemon drinks, um, any lemon thing we can find yeah. that we can eat. We are now starting our little lemon food tour, but I wanted to tell you guys that this region is actually part of a microclimate that provides over 300 days of sunny weather every single year. So this place is perfect for not only growing lemons, but a lot of different citrus fruits such as limes, oranges, pretty sweet. We have made it to our very first bakery and they had a limited selection of lemon goods, but we did find two that we wanted to try. So the very first one is a lemon tart and it looks like it has some candied lemon on top, all this delicious lemon filling. And then we also got a lemon cake, which should last us for the rest of our time here in Mentol. Uh, but we're gonna give both of those a try. Let's start with the tart because it's glistening and it's hot out, so it looks cold, I don't know. <laughs> Literally tastes exactly like what I thought it would be. A little bit sour, a little bit sweet. I think it tastes exactly like key lime pie. Yeah, like pretty spot on, which is the perfect dessert for a hot summer's day. It is time to dig into our cake, our delicious lemon cake. Ooh, it's feeling very moist. I think I grew up eating a lot of lemon cakes that were made from the box. So I guess eating one that's made from the fruit itself and not some artificial fragrance is very, very delicious. I really like it and it kind of feels like in between a cake and a bread. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm really used to the artificial stuff. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, that is good. We've just made it to, what, to Lemon Palooza. <laughs> it's a <laughs> shop that sells everything lemon. We were beckoned over here to try some samples. And this one here is grapefruit with lemon. And then we have an one. An orange. Oh, and then this one is strawberry and lemon. Gonna give it a taste. If we like it enough, we'll get some of our own. Um, this is lemon. Oh. Oh wow, these are really good. Yeah, these are amazing. Delicious. I mean, I think I'm just really hot, so like the iciness of it, amazing. This is lemon. Oh. <laughs> That's really nice. I used to have these like lemon icy gelato things at the county fairs, and that's what it reminds me of. Just walking in the store, it smells like lemon essential oil. I think we're in lemon heaven right now. <laughs> we're like a walking advertisement for this store. <laughs> We are getting our very first taste of limoncello, and it is a lemon liqueur that's usually found in Italy, but I guess they make it here as well. You can see they have so many options. I think we're trying the classic. All right, ready? Well, after indulging in several different samples, we have left lemon heaven with two different things. We have a lemon slushy, which was on Chad's list. It's very good. And then we also have some limoncello um, that's from Menton. We'll have to try it again if we ever go to Italy, uh, but this will be our first taste of limoncello for the next couple days. A quick pause on our mini lemon food tour because we are going to our last dinner here in France. This is so crazy. So this is also our last video here in France. If you want to guess what country we're going to next, we haven't done this in a while, but leave it in the comments below. I think that's always kind of fun. So we'll go see what the options on the menu are. I think it might be like, what, one of those set menus yeah, where you get to you choose. Can't, like, look it up online yeah. beforehand. It's like a mystery um, until you get there. <laughs> I think one of my favorite parts about traveling through Europe is the fact that Claire and I, we love to eat dinner very early and pretty much any reservation is available right when the restaurant opens, which is typically around like six or seven. So we got a reservation for seven o'clock and there's no one here, which I honestly love. It's great for filming. Oh, 
although we are pretty full, we have a mission to eat as many lemon items as possible. Yeah. So after having dessert, we're now gonna go get our second dessert. Second dessert. <laughs> get some lemon gelato. Let's see how full we can get <laughs> before we leave France. <laughs> We have our lemon ice cream. I was looking around. I was actually panicking to make sure that they had lemon and they do All right, shall I lick? Yes, give it a lick <laughs> We've eaten a lot of lemon things today and it's starting to taste very sour <laughs> But it's really good. It's uh, not too sweet return to where we began the day and we have our very final <laughs> lemon flavored thing to try. Oh my goodness, I think this is what, the seventh Seven. thing? Yeah. Seventh lemon item. We have seven lemon goodies <laughs> in our stomachs right now. Um, but the last thing we have here is lemon beer, which I didn't even know they made. Um, and so this is the one that we picked up. We've been seeing them all over the town, so they must be pretty popular. Mm -hmm. Will you do us the honors, Chad? Sure, sure. Team effort. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was shook. Let's move locations. <laughs> Alright, we cleaned up our mess. <laughs> Alright, you get the first taste. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Bad. It's not bad at all. Very good. Very good. Quick pause in the video from future Claire. I'm editing right now and I realized that we did not tell you what the lemon beer tasted like. And I'm sure many of you guys are very curious. So it tasted like a light beer with three drops of lemon essential oil. Very interesting taste. But yeah, it was pretty good. We recommend it. Now back to the video. We have had a lot of fun exploring this colorful city and tasting the lemons. <laughs> oh, pucker your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Would we recommend you do a lemon food tour? I think to a healthy extent. Yes. <laughs> Would we say Whatever. go for seven things? I don't know. We're definitely feeling some sort of way. <laughs> but on that sour note, <laughs> we are concluding our time here in France. We've had the best time exploring Paris and Provence and now the French Riviera. And we're heading on to our next country in our next video. So if you'd like to follow along on our adventure, hit subscribe as we travel to 50 countries around the world. And thank you to all our dear patrons for showing your continued support. And with that, au revoir from <laughs> Mental. <laughs>